works is, uh, in one case, the, the area of the, uh, the box is, the width is f of t, that's, that's this height here, f of t, times g of t minus g of x, plus g of x, which is this length here, times what? f of t minus f of x. And you see what uh, you might then do? I'll take both sides and divide by t minus x, which is, is the quotient I'm interested in, yes? And now look at this. This divided by t minus x gives me the quotient associated to g. This divided by t minus x gives me the quotient associated to f. And now I'll do what to, 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 if I'm interested in the limit of this, I'll take the limit of this. Limit of the products, product of the limits. What happens to the limit of f of x as t goes to x? It goes to f of x because f is continuous because it's differentiable. Okay? Uh, and that gives this. That's that f, right? And then this goes to g prime. Whereas this is already g of x, that's there, and this goes to f prime. Okay. But uh, it comes from, the intuition comes from this picture. If you just read the proof, of course, you'll see this and you'll say, what in the world? Where did they get that? It just comes from the intuition. Okay, I'll let you figure out how to motivate the quotient rule um, proof that's in the book, but you might take a look. Okay. Um, just because this is analysis, let me show you some, um, some interesting functions that you, well, that you'll, you'll enjoy. So here's a question for you. We've seen functions that are continuous but not differentiable. In this case, it's not differentiable at some point. If you have a function that's continuous, must it be differentiable at some, I mean, is it, it may not be differentiable everywhere, but must it be, be differentiable somewhere? <coughs> so if you have a continuous function, like, um, oh, uh, th that's a continuous function, right? Here's another continuous function. Of course, is this differentiable? Everywhere, no, not here, and not here, and not here, maybe, right? But it seems to be differentiable at other places. So here's a question for you. If you have a function that's continuous, must it be differentiable somewhere, even if it's not differentiable everywhere? How many people say yes? How many people say, oh, OK. How many people say no? Okay, everybody form an opinion. I just want to see what, where your intuition will take you. Continuous function, must it be differentiable some, uh, let's say continuous function on the whole line. Must it be differentiable somewhere? How many people say yes? How many people say no? Okay, more of you said yes than no. But in fact, the answer is no. So here's a theorem. There exists functions, some of the strangest functions you'll ever meet, that are, let's say from R to R, that are continuous everywhere, but differentiable nowhere. What? Really? In other words, we have a continuous function that is just so jagged that nowhere, OK, I'm just making something that looks plausible. It's, it's so jagged that nowhere, nowhere has a derivative. Really? Hmm. Show me. Show me a function besides. Something looks like this. Okay, well, here's one. Uh, 
when I write this down, of course, you'll um, you'll um, you'll be able to see at least why it, it might have this feature. But there's some funny things about this about this function. So uh, consider the following function. Let's take the sum of a bunch of functions 